Scotty and I decided basically to strip her down to almost a bare chassis and kind of start from scratch. So I guess I'm going to be documenting what we're doing through this process of rebuilding this car from the start, basically. That's all right. It really needed it. I'm going to roll in that about no firewall modification. Well, shit. The chassis is actually bent right now. My strut tower bar won't go back on and we can't bolt my front end from here to here anymore. It just, it doesn't line up at all. So we gotta figure something out in regards to that. And need to get to the radiator. So taking off my old rear glass. Gonna miss that sticker. Got the back glass off. Now taking off my firewall. Beautifully crafted by Foxy over at Car Crafters. This thing is awesome. Now we have an exposed radiator. Time to take this thing out. I think 90% of the fins on the front side are bent. So it's not doing a whole lot of air flowage right now. Time for an upgrade. Yep, and since I had to pull my fire suppression system, we got to take that out too. Yay! Just makes me want to cry. Oh, maybe that's the green chili. It's good though. Plus, I got to get my fire bottle refilled and serviced. So that's expensive. All right, radiator's out. Now there's a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Oh. Most of the fins on this are bent. So it's not getting the best amount of airflow. That's my gas pedal stopper. You can see the holes in the firewall where the clutch tried to come through. Look at that big old thing right by where my foot would have been. I am pretty lucky I still have my walkers. And I keep finding pieces of my bell housing. Those are some of the, the bigger pieces. Most of them were a lot smaller than that. There's some more. Yeah, anybody needs a slightly used bell housing, get at me. And this is what it looks like all dashless. Oh. Yeah, haven't seen under there in a while. Well, it's a little cleaner in here. Got some of the schmoo out of the way. We're gonna clean up the rat's nest that we've made over the years from just having to band-aid everything. We got quite a few different things that we're actually gonna fix on this car that we never got to because everything was always in a hurry. It should make it slightly more reliable and or easier to work on and or both. Thank you, John Jack Cerrone, for this gem. She's been with me since the beginning. It's the little things that matter. This time, no adapters, no BS. Went with a T56 Magnum per Rapper Dan's recommendation. We're gonna be able to run the correct clutch that was supposed to go with the car. Spec is hooking it up with a twin disc. We're gonna be super pumped on that. I think it's gonna be okay, guys. I really think it's gonna be okay. At this point, we've gotten it basically stripped all the way out, all the electronics are out, the cooling system is out. We're touching this car in places it hasn't been touched since we originally built it, which is probably a good thing. So yeah, we got all the, all the guts hanging out. But now she clean. I done polished the inside, look good. Unboxed the blower as well, while we're cleaning up and boxing up the rest of the crap that we took off of this thing but fresh things in store. I'm excited for this. It's gonna be a whole new car. Hot dang.